It's a breath of fresh air when you come over, Glory. It really is. It's a fucking relief. Stop it! You're a failing actress and a failing mother! Is this her coat? I can't see any gravy stains. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Get it off! Schnell, Schnell, Schnell! It's Gucci. Gucci? Whose kids she been playing with? Kanye West? Oh, my God. I'm taking this cos I'm hurrying it pick up. New teachers like Minnie Mouse on Red Bull. Hello, Grease! She even got her saying Icklebick. Oh, Mum thinks she'll be learning Mandarin. Oh, well, yeah. No, that will be useful when she goes to Blue Dolphin Caravan oh. Park. Well, just be careful with it, all right, you know, we get things mucky. We don't get things mucky. Mate, the car is literally a skip on wheels. It's Missy Brown's mum. Who's that? Well, you know, she's the Queen of Burtox. She wears, like, 20 pairs of false lashes for pickup just to flip her head back to open her eyes. She's the one who told you that she'd pierced her own nipples. How oh, hey. Hi. Ah, hi, hello. You've taken Missy's coat. Oh, mm, well, yeah. No, I mean, I picked it up by mistake because <laughs> of the same colour and material and... Quality. Mrs. Kurt's actually a luxury item from an uncle heavily involved with Formula One. Can you drop it off tonight? Listen, I'm at Kingswood, the executive side of the estate. Which is the executive side? Not near Asda. Listen, I I'll bring it in tomorrow. Can you at least keep it out of the way of stuff, please? Paula! How nice does Grace look? Paula is Gucci. Grace, my little Gucci girly. Do you want some? Hey, hey, be careful, that's not mine. Hey, don't get him mucky with that moose. That's just a Oh my god! Mum. I bought this from yourselves and I took it to the dry cleaners, but they wouldn't touch it because between you and me they're a bit common. Mm -hmm. So I brought it back for your fabulous same day cleaning service. Do you have a receipt? No. <laughs> and you say you bought this here? Yes. This isn't one of ours. OK, fine. Listen, right, it is this mum. It's this mum from my kids' preschool and she's a bloody nightmare. It's her coat and if I give it back to her like this, she'll spread it round that I'm mucky, so can you please tell me where I can get it cleaned? Oh, you can't. It's a fake. You what? A fake. And I can't let you leave here mm. with it. Sorry. That's fine, cos why would I want it? It's a fake. OK, no, 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 that's fine. Uh, throw it in the bin, do whatever you want with it. Listen, you have a good day, weren't you? And, um Bye. I felt awful about the call and not helping out. Just look what I've got. Yeah. My mate's dad does knock-off stuff. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Ashley, you absolute beauty! Yeah. You've nicked my Mrs Gucci coat and replaced it with a fake. No, I took it by mistake. Anyway, don't give me that, Leanne. Yours was a fake in the first place. S Excuse me, I don't believe in fake stuff. OK, well, I went round the Hurl of East Round the Yorkshire day trying to get your fake coat cleaned. Cleaned? I knew you couldn't be trusted to not get muck on it. Listen, listen, Leanne. I come from a very long line of clean people. Oh, I'll have you know. Amber Wamba thinks someone's a bit cross. Is Nickelbicker shouting over here? Can we please use our inside voices? Amber, Amber that voice makes me want to punch you. Christ. So, where'd you get it? My niece got it off some bloke called Riz. Same. He's good, Riz. Knock off, but I am knock off. Well, only the best for our girls. Word to the wise, don't touch his Louboutins. Mate of mine got lead poison off the red soul. Good tip. Auntie Tony, we have a problem. No, we don't. Everything's ready. I've done everything. We're ready for the party. She's decided. She's frightened. What? No, 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 no. No, I don't like it. Hey, 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 hey. No, no, no. Uh, no, not Grace. We love the room there. That's why we're having a birthday party all about flamingos. <gasps> In half an hour, when all your friends get here. <whistles> Craig, we have a problem. <laughs> I wanted to give her a day that was quirky and eclectic. She'll remember this day for the rest of her life. She's five. She didn't remember to wipe her own ass. What happened to your face? Gloria, I'm so glad you could make it. Craig mentioned you're having a disaster. <laughs> Did he? Oh, <laughs> that's funny, because, um, if anything, I'm having it against the odds triumph. I'm um, pivoting the party, so you could say. In under half an hour? Yeah. 
that's a bit ambitious. Oh, Craig was just asking what's to be done with your seagull cake. Ah, oh, seagull. I knew it reminded me of something. Flamingo! It reminded you of a flamingo because that's what it is. It's because they're really small legs. So... Craig. I would just put it out of its misery if I were you. Would you like to be humanely destroyed? No! I want to be pivoted into a princess cake! <laughs> I could just take it outside and shoot it. <laughs> no, no one's destroying anything because a party's not a party without a cake. Oh, I agree. <laughs> I thought it might be needed. As a backup. That's all. Yeah, you thought it might be needed, Gloria. Oh, it's almost as if you knew that the theme would change. Such a shame about the theme. Grace was so excited about flamingos. She was telling me this morning. You spoke to Grace this morning? Yes, the little love called to make sure I was coming to her party. Didn't Greg mention it? No, he didn't mention it. Are you finished in here? Right. I'm taking this. Theme killer. Oops. Tony! You did not just do that, Tony. Yeah, I did, actually. Because you ruined my party. It's not your party. It's Grace's party. And it would have been a flamingo party before you got to her and talked her out of it. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> don't play innocent with me, Gloria. You might have Greg fooled, but you can't kid a kidder. Tony! You know what? It's not me that's got him fooled. My Craig has to do everything for Grace. Mum! Yeah, yeah, he's miserable, isn't he? He's miserable! It's a breath of fresh air when you come over, Gloria. It really is. It's a fucking relief. Stop it! You're a failing actress and a failing mother! Oh. Oh, Dan, I love that if no-one else wants it. Guys, the kids are arriving in a bit. So calm down. That cake's all right, you know, Gloria. Ooh. I love Vicky Sponge. Mm. Victoria. <laughs>